Well, see, these two steps are a little bit bigger, and, and I was wondering if he was going to do something on here. I didn't really see too many puckers on these, but since he's got his kicker out and stuff, it looks like he, he's just going to... Yeah, I don't see any wrinkles on this one, but we'll tighten it. No, he's just, he's just uh, being conscious of his work and wants to make it look nice when he gets done. I mean, obviously, there were really no puckers on it, but this is stretching it a little bit better than it was before anyways, since he's here. It's only going to take him a few minutes to do this. See, he's. I don't, don't know if he's going to stretch it from that small end. Maybe not. Maybe just that big end. Let's see. You'll probably stretch it without even pulling this one out. Yeah, that little side, that small side, huh? Hardly needs a stretch. Yeah. So you can give it a little bit without even pulling it out. Because as he's pushing that, can you see when it stretches, it releases off of the little pin nails that come up through the tack strip, and then it resets it like claws like, or, or teeth from a shark or something. Once, you, once it grabs, it gets a little tighter, it's not coming loose. Okay, so he's just going to work on these. I think this is... These are the same technique, obviously, where the camera is. I don't know if he has to stretch that little side over there or not. See that? So you hit right in there first. And that's that helps kind of push the carpet over that way a little bit before he, he tucks it down. So is there a right and wrong way to do it? Yeah, there is. Got wrinkles all the way back to here. Yeah. I have to go both ways on this one. Yeah, probably on that one. That first one he doesn't have to do, but this the second one he does because there's a there's a pucker right at the corner, you know, right there. Let's see. He's, he's loosened this up already with this. See, that's a that's quite a bit of stretch he's put on there. I'm stretching it right to here, and not to there though. Right. He's got to take his tool right from that point and kind of push it over. That releases it off the nails and it, and it reattaches it to those nails. And that tack strip, it's amazing what a little piece of tack strip will do. <laughs> yeah. If you've seen a tack strip, and I don't know if he's got any, well, we'll see, we'll see some good tack strip when he starts pulling off this, this carpet in the big room here. They're little feelers all over, and you don't want to handle that with your hands too much when you're installing it, or, or get your hand down on one of those. I've taken out plenty of tax strip in my day. And if you kind of set your palm on it, forget about it. I guess there's going to be only so much that can be done with that. What do you think? I might be able to do more. We'll see. Let me get to the next step. He'll look so far, we'll come back and look at that. Yeah. 
I got a tacker. I know what to do with it. can't wait to see how the carpet reacts to my stretcher down here for this one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because there I think you might have to use your big one. Your big daddy, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. If that, if that room was like a 11 by 11 or something, you could probably get away with this small stretcher on that. But I think he's going to have to do something tricky on that so you might want to watch that video see how he's hitting it at an angle or before he pushes it back down this way. And that that little bit right there, that holds it. Mm, that did good. Yeah, that did. That was a loose step, these two. Yeah. And there might be a trace of where it used to be, but I think that's going to go away. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's true because as it settles yes. of the stretch, it, it, um, it could settle back down. Before it couldn't settle because it had nowhere to go. And a lot of what you're seeing is the fabric just being turned different, you know, for a while. Yeah. Those don't those look day and night better already? Yes, they do. The wrinkles, nice stairs, but man, not with the wrinkles. No. No, they look a hundred percent better. Let's see, we see a little bit more there. He 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 might you get a tacker. I don't know. I think he's gonna do something a little bit on that. He's gonna work on that step a little bit more. Right in here. He's saying he's got some sort of tacker. So we'll see. And on, what's, what's the next video I'm going to show after this? Well, he's going to come out in this area here. This is a big room, 25 by 27. Just up to that point there. And that's where he's going to stretch it from, from that point, this direction. So he's going to have to pull it all up along the seams, uh, along the edge. And on the right side, he's probably going to have to peel it back. I don't know. How far? He may have to go all the way, all the way back to here. Because see, here's a pucker right there at that point. Here's another one right there. And see, you can't just lift up this edge and re-stretch this out because then this pucker is going to get bigger. Then you'd have to redo this carpet to that point. And then you're going to have the next problem from here to there and from here to there. So see, on this room, he's got to work from this wall that way and obviously he's going to use some different techniques than he did over here so if you want to watch that video keep watching my channel and once he stretches this carpet you might have you might have noticed hey joe what's he going to do around these air registers See, there's two there. Here's, here's some more down on the floor. Lots of times they're on the ceiling, but I like the fact that they're in the floor here because they were able to run all their ductwork underneath the house. Because in most certain situations, it's nice. If you have a choice, I'd rather put them down on the floor only because heat rises and you get a more controlled area in your house if you start your heat blowing from the bottom up 
to the ceiling. If you had them all up in the ceiling, yeah, yeah, they come down and they come down only so far and still you get cold down low if you're sitting in a chair, in a couch, whatever. Well, that's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.